Money buys you happiness? I think it buys me alcohol, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> if you can switch lives with anybody in this room, who would you switch lives with? Probably Big Nick. Why Big Nick? Because he's probably gonna die soon. What the fuck? <laughs> For your birthday. Everything ends up sucking. For example, my first birthday my mom gave me my life. I liked it at first when it was shiny and brand new. Now it fucking sucks. I wish she'd take it back. <laughs> Have you ever done anything fun for your birthday? One of my birthdays I went shark fishing with my dad. It took a really long time to find a shark, so I got really sad. And then when the sharks finally showed up, I jumped in the water and they didn't eat me, so I was even more sad. <laughs> Do you know how many people would fucking kill another person to be you? I would fucking kill Toddy to be you. Why not fucking kill me to be me? <laughs> Scott, to be honest, I would want to be you. Why? Because it'd be a fun challenge to get myself out of the little rut you're in. <laughs> I feel like you need to find something fun to do. Like, would you ever go skydiving? Well, I went once, and it sucked. So what do you mean, it sucked? Well, they made me wear a parachute. I didn't know you moisturized. I don't. I tried killing myself by drinking this one. Since you're always so sad, why don't you work in a sad place, like a funeral home? I feel like it gets you jealous at a funeral home. Too jealous of what? All the people dying. No. If you could be any character from any superhero movie, who would you be? Spider-Man's uncle. Spider-Man's uncle died. I know. I cry every time I get to that part. Why? Because I wish it was me. Someone came to you and they said, we're going to kill your mother. Or you give up alcohol for the rest of your life. What would you do? Take a shot of whiskey and kiss my mother goodbye. Put you in a situation, okay? You're a little kid. Your mom's not watching you. You're at the zoo. You fall into the gorilla pit. What's next? Try to find some way to make the gorilla kill me. <laughs> Okay, new situation. You're on an airplane, it's going down, they tell you to buckle up and put your head down. What do you do next? I unbuckle and stand up. No! You want to survive in these situations. Why? Because, Scott, stop it, you're scared <laughs> of me. <laughs> you're at the zoo with your family, your parents left you unattended, and you fall into the gorilla pit. What's next? I wait for the gorilla to kill me. No! That's what I said! Really? No, that's, yeah. not, that's not good! I didn't put this in because you couldn't hear him really well. Keith was like, how do we put the fire out? Scott goes, use my body, I don't need it. I used to be a very happy person, like two years ago, before I met you. You used to be happy? Was Scott ever happy? When? Like, that's what I'm saying. No one believes me. I was happy before you. Go, go. <laughs> oh my god, wait, he's bionic, man! <laughs>